Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing a wig. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a video. What's in my brush belt? So this is my MAC brush belt. So I just filmed this tutorial, makeup tutorial two. It's not really a tutorial. Um, it's just to get ready with me. But I wanted to do another video show you guys what's in my brush belt for work. So this is my MAC belt it says Mac right here behind these brushes into the brushes so they do give you I think 10 Mac brushes and you can wear this belt around your waist or like over the shoulder I wear it around my waist to look skinny I've organized this like um like cream brushes, so my foundation brushes, primer brushes, concealers, and then over here I have like my powder brushes, my eyeshadow brushes, like I even have my liner right here. But I'm just gonna kinda go through what I got. Um, I don't use all of these brushes on a day-to-day -day basis, it depends on the client and the look that I'm doing, obviously. Um, I have turned into such a bitch since I put this wig on. Like, I think I'm somebody, it's crazy. I have two of the IT Cosmetics. Um, this is like their foundation brush, it's pointed. This is like the most pretty foundation brush. It has, you use such little product and a little bit goes a long way, that's why I have two of them. So if I'm doing back-to-back -back shade matches, one dirty from, dirty from a client before, I have a backup. These are literally like my work brushes. These are not brushes that I use at home. Some, like, I brought this one from home. This is a Morphe Rose R37 blending brush because it, I wasn't given a blending brush really. So I have two of those and then I have an e.l.f. powder brush. But this is really dense and I use this foundation usually and then this is a morphe m439 deluxe buffing brush um i'm not a fan of like the shorter one but this does do a nice application i still prefer the it cosmetics one over the morphe one i have mac 190 brush which is going a little crazy but this is their foundation brush that was given with my belt I don't like these type of brushes for foundation um, I feel like it just streaks it everywhere but I will like shade match all the time with this brush and I'll like apply the foundation and then buff it out with the it brush so that is the first top row of my foundation side so I'm gonna move it down to the second but this is a Morphe gunmetal brush that is mine and I actually got it in their monthly subscription box and it doesn't have a number on it so it's really weird but I love this brush it's very dense you can use this for foundation too I do use it under the eye to powder or just to like powder swatch powder swatch powder match foundation match um, to blend out concealer you can use it as blush like this is a really universal brush but it is really dense for foundation and then I have the MAC 139 S so this brush I do use for primer it's really good for stippling brush bronzer highlight um, but it is good for primer to primer application it does it really quickly but this is a beautiful bronzing and blush brush as well. I have these two MAC brushes. I have the MAC 132, which was given to me by my very, very close co worker who is no longer with MAC. And um, he wasn't a fan of it, but I use this for primer, foundation matching, mostly um, primer really quickly, or like to stipple um, under eye concealer really lightly. Um, to put on eye primer even um, a very universal brush um, the only thing I don't like about it is it it stains like the brush itself stains it doesn't wash out this is a stippling brush 
This is the MAC 188S. I think that's for synthetic. But I'll use this for highlight. But I really don't reach for this brush as often now that I have the bigger sibling brush that I showed you. Um, and I do have a e.l.f. fan brush in here that I actually like for highlighting too because it doesn't deposit super heavy. You can build it up lightly and I really enjoyed that look lately instead of like super bold intense highlight right away on the face. A newer goodie. This is the 168 synthetic. This is good for like cream contour. Um, my coworker Johnny actually does like it for foundation too. I tried to use it for foundation and because it was so new, all the loose hairs started shedding. So I feel like I should have washed it first, um, but it was really pretty with foundation, but cream contour, blush, highlight, you know, you know, this is just one that's in there as well. And then the last three on the wet cream product sides, I have the MAC 209 liner brush, which this is such an amazing eye liner brush. Like this, I think is one of my faves. It does it so precisely and easily, like you just one swipe and you're good. I have the e.l.f. concealer brush, which is my favorite concealer brush to use if I am using a brush. Like it, oh, yes, this is just amazing. And then I have this e.l.f. small tapered brush, which I use for under the eye powdering to set concealer. I'm going to go down to these three little brushes, all MAC brushes, so your basic eyeliner brush you can I use this to clean up winged liner eyeshadow with eye cream and then I have the 217 s and I think it's 200 it's rubbed off but be, they have now gone with synthetic so this is not the original 217 Mac brush but this is where like Morphe got their like 433 brush um, but you can see that this one gets like really sporadic and yeah, but this is like an amazing, amazing brush. And then I, I have a little lip brush that is a MAC 318 brush. Moving on down to my powder side right here. I have the Ulta... I wish that it had the name for the airbrush. Oh, it does on the back. This is the airbrush powder wand. I love this freaking powder brush. It just does it so quickly and it's soft, it's dense, so it picks up enough powder, not too much, and just you're done. Like makes the like makeup application process a lot quicker. These are my favorite brushes, and it's crazy because I think I found a dupe with e.l.f. These are the MAC, this is the 129S. I love this for bronzer and blush. Like, it is so dense, even like under eye highlight with the smaller one. This is the 116S. Um, this under the eye, these pick up so much product that you literally have to like tap it off just barely going in these are the best brushes like i would buy more because i'm obsessed obsessed with using these um for all powder products but i have this elf blush brush which is very similar just a little more thick um these are them turned sideways and but they have like the same shape this one's just a little bit wider um but you see like so similar so if you cannot afford these brushes i would recommend this one if you can find it it is so good this is in like their 50 piece set too or 19 piece it's 50 dollars for 19 pieces with elf i feel like elf brushes are so underrated and they're such good quality honestly I like them a lot more than Morphe. I love Morphe brushes, but Elf ones just like, they hit different. I have this IT Cosmetics Velvet like Plush Luck Plush Brush. This I use for blush and bronzer almost every time. I love the MAC ones, but this one, because it's angled, it, oh, and it's loose, it's not super dense, so it just puts the best product oh, ever. Love this brush. 
And then this one's new. I haven't really used this one yet. This is the MAC 150. It's a huge powder brush, like huge. Um, I haven't used it yet because I've just been using the IT one that I just talked about. That is the top row of my powder sign. And then moving on to the bottom row, I haven't used this either. This is the MAC 140S. This is new too. Um, I think I want to use it to like chisel. You could do it sideways. Um, like to cut out cheekbones and do all that. So I don't know. It's really pretty and I like it a lot. Soft. Their brushes are really good quality. I have a MAC 219S, which is a pencil brush, which is perfect for depositing color. All that stuff. I have a Wet n Wild brush. I don't know the number of this. This came in their holiday collection. I bought it at Walgreens. It is such good quality. I also have Elf Mascara Fan Brush. Um, so this is to like separate lashes, fan them out. Um, I use it for liner and shadow under the eye or even on the top like flipping it. Um, really precise and it is shaped really cool. Like this brush is really freaking cool. I have my two concealing and like crease cutting brushes, MAC 242 and 252 synthetics. And these are so amazing. Like at applying eyeshadow concealer, cutting the crease. And then I have the MAC 268S, which would be like for like some bomb thick brows, cutting out the brows, nose contour. Like, ugh. But certainly not least, I have three e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. So I have the blending brush, which is comparable to the MAC 217, but it's black, it's a little more fluffy. And then I have the C shader brush, which I love for under the lash line too, or smudging. And then this one is really good for nose contouring and detailed crease. This is the e.l.f. crease brush and I have needed one of these in my life for so long. Yeah, I just wanted to really film. This is a really quick video and I'm really happy because I just wanted to show you guys um, my what I have in my beautiful little brush belt. And it's just so full and luxurious and it's just, I do have high-end and low-end brushes and I feel like you should just like get whatever you feel like works. And one thing I forgot is my dram. So this is to put cream products on for sanitary reasons. Um, I like this because it sits up and I don't have to like hold it. It's not thin. Um, I did have the Ulta plastic one to like mix foundations that shattered on me. Like my first week I dropped it and it broke. So my lovely, lovely, lovely favorite manager gave me her old dram for when she worked at MAC. So this also, it just means a lot to me. There's like scratches in it. I know it's mine and I feel like it's giving me good makeup juju because she was, um, she still is amazing. And yeah, so that's my little dram. That's it for this video. I just want to show you guys a quick rundown of what's in my brush belt. Comment what your favorite brushes are down below, what you can't live without if you're a working artist, um, just for yourself. Let me know, I'd love to hear, and yeah. I'll leave my Instagram down below, and let me know all that good stuff.